drinking stinging nettles. Who would have thought it? This is what I'm saying. <coughs> Up and coming production. This season six is Cook and Vibe M the R Y. Welcome to Cook and Vibe. Yes, my name is M. R. That's Up and Coming Productions. This is Cook and Vibe. Today, another crazy one. I should just stop saying that because it's always crazy. Today, we are drinking stinging nettles. <laughs> Not seriously, man. A serious thing, man. Tell man. Drinking stinging nettles today. All right. A lot of health benefits. People don't know this. People don't know about these things. So although it seems crazy today and you think, right, oh, what is he up to today's drinking sting and that was over it. No! Today's health benefits. The weather's disgusting, the weather's horrible, it's bare windy today. We've had to do a madness just to try and cut out the wind from the shots and ah! We need some health in our life in these winter times. So there's a lot of health benefits with the stinging nettles. But with this thing in there, we're going to do a little sour sop tea as well. You get me? Big old ocean moss. You don't know how the thing's at, people. It's cook and vibe. Today, we are drinking stinging nettles. Yeah, man, so we're going to go forward now to the field and find some stick. Well, hopefully, find some stinging nettles anyway. Because it's winter, but hopefully, we can find some. You know what I'm saying? So, why are you? Why are people? So, yeah, we're outside now and we're going to try and find some stinging nettles. The wind's bare terrible out here. My microphone's died. Ah, but it's cool come vibe. It's season six. We're outside and we're going to try and find some stinging nettles. I put on my gloves here because I don't want to sting my hands, obviously. So if you're going to do this, make sure you cover your hands up. You know what I'm saying? So let's have a look. People, we found some. Look at that. Stinging nettles. Some there, we got some there. Uh, some there, some there. That should be enough. Yeah, that should be enough. That should be enough to, um, for what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we find some wicked. Back to the yard to boil up some stinging nettles. Now, people. There's a lot of health benefits here. This ain't just a crazy one today. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, back to the yard. I've got my bag of stinging nettles. We're gonna try and wash them. We're gonna put them in something and just wash them up first. You know what I'm saying? Because just in case any dog, dog, piss on them or anything then like that. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna wash them up properly and nice and boil them up. Drinking stinging nettles. Why are we? Why are we? We've got our stinging nettles. It's freezing out there, the wind is a mad thing, man. Yeah, this week's been crazy, but all right, look. So, we've got our stingy nettles. <laughs> yeah, I'll give them a quick wash, let them soak in that water, and I'm gonna give them another wash. You get me? But what I wanna try and do is just take off some of this stalk. <laughs> I've got my glove on still. Car, minnow, sting up myself. Take out some stalk, really, you know, people. Like I say, there's health benefits in this, man. This ain't this ain't no joke thing, man. You get me? Just trying to... I, I mean, I don't suppose the stalk would matter anyway. But I'm just trying to make it a, a bit more smaller and easier to get in the pot. You know what I'm saying? I think just that one stalk there. I think that's good to go, man. Look at that. So be careful when you're doing this, people. What's that? So we've got a random thing there. Yeah, that's... <laughs> got some randomness in here. I don't know why I'm boiling up nothing that ain't... <laughs> what we're looking for, you know? Yeah. Start boiling up random... Just random blasts. <laughs> yeah, man, that's good. Alright, so as you can... As you can hear... I'm boiling up some water, so what we're gonna do now is um boil them up and uh yeah I think I'll give you that I think I'll give you the health benefits while they're boiling up. And you get me and, and show you wild one, you know? Yeah man. There we have it, nice and cleaned. 
You get me? Stinging nettles. Yeah, man. We're going to make some more tea. We're going to make some sour sop tea as well today. You get me? So, no worry yourself. It's all about health benefits with tea today. That can come out. So, all we're going to do, literally, is just make them boil up. Yeah? And then let it simmer for like 15, 20 minutes to make sure it all infuses in and we get all the benefits into the water. You understand? Yeah man, stinging nettles. I <laughs> think. Okay, so I'm not gonna pretend I know this off by heart. We learn, we build together, we learn together. Look and learn. You understand? So the benefits from drinking stinging nettles tea is it supports your eye health. Supports your eyes then. <laughs> Crazy. Mm, um, may affliate pain. We're gonna put that up there. May affliate, <laughs> may aff affliate pain. Uh, inhibits oxid oxidative stress. We're gonna put these up as I say them because I'm probably not even saying them right. It protects the heart health. Uh, it may treat prostatic hyper. Oh, it doesn't finish off the, the word there. Uh, works as an antihistamine. I don't think I said that right. Antihistamine. Yeah. Well, oh, I didn't know. It works as an anti antihistamine as well. Um, um, and it purifies your blood. Uh, takes, dries out the toxins. Uh, it's rich in A, vitamins A, B, C, and K, along with containing carotene and iron. All that from stinging nettles. Now you'd never think that, would you? Do you know what I mean? So we yet to, we yet to do taste time. So we're not we're not too sure yet. So let's get into some sour sop tea. Wait, you know what I'm saying? Stinging nettles are boiling. I want to big up Ocean Moss. Yeah, see your name right there, Ocean Moss, check them out on Instagram. They sent me a nice, nice package a little while ago, but I've been meaning to get around to do the episode, so today we're gonna give them the strength. You know what I'm saying? They sent me some lovely fever grass tea that unfortunately I've drunk all of it. Um, look, you got the Cersei tea, you know what I'm saying? And they also do the, um, the uh, sea moss. Yeah, you've got sea moss and we've got some, actually you've got some purple sea moss over there that you can see in a minute. Um, but yeah, man, these are the products. He does just loads of different things. Um, the Calibashes, they come from Ocean Moss as well. Um, everything health benefit. They do loads of different um, uh, little creams and bath things and everything, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, today we are using the Sour Sop Tea. So the Cersei Tea is a really good one. We've done that before on Cook and Vibe. We've done sea moss on Cook and Vibe. So it's all about the Sour Sop Tea. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, these things are really simple. It's really simple, Ben, to make. All you do is you get the leaves, you put them in water, and you boil it. And then once you boil it, you just bring it down to a simmer and let it all just infuse inside. And as you can see, you get one kind of like greeny kind of looking color of the tea. Do you know what I'm saying? So. Whilst we wait for the stinging nettles, we're gonna deal with some sour sop tea. Cheers, Up and Coming Productions. Big up Ocean Moss. It's got a tinge to it. They're quite bland in flavour, but a little tinge. You know what I'm saying? I can't really tell you what the tinge was or what it tastes like. There's a tinge in it. There's a like a flavour in it. You know what I'm saying? But it's nice. And it's really, really health beneficial as well. So um let me give you some um health benefits on the sour soft tea. So it says it boosts your immune health. So it boosts your immune system, which you need for these time of year, do you know what I'm saying? Because Wally per colds and COVID. <laughs> but also, um, it fights inflammation. Sour sop tea fights inflammation. So if you got 
something that's inflamed or you've hurt something or bust up something, it works with, good with that. It improves your digestive system also. Yeah, so if you're having problems there, it helps with that. Uh, it stabilizes your blood pressure. You get me? So if you have diabetes and things like that, it will stabilize your blood pressure. Uh, and it potentially, it says, all right, but I, it's not a potential. It prevents cancer. And you believe what you want to believe, but the reason why they have to say potential is because they're not going to tell you, say, sour soft tea really prevents cancer. But these things are put here by, you know, nature to help us benefit. Nothing should I, I don't believe you're supposed to take anything in tablet form. Sometimes when I get a really, really bad, bad, bad headache and I, I will take a tablet, but that is it. I will try and get rid of it first. I'll try to lie my head down in, 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 you know, in a dark room first, but their health benefits, you know what I'm saying? It's the tropical fruit section. Oh, where you get that fruit there from? Tropical fruit section. You know me? This is my favorite part of the show. I don't know about you. Let me know in your comments. But I really like this section. I love tropical fruit. Who doesn't like fruit? I mean, come on. Today. Today. Look at this. Crazy looking thing. Looks like a spiky mango of some sort. This is a Kawano melon. Otherwise known as an African melon. Otherwise known as an African cucumber. <laughs> yeah, so these are the different names for these people, but what I've come to find out, right, and now I'm just gonna do my, I'm just gonna do the mats. You have to just do the mats sometimes, because I've seen these before, and I've asked, oh, you know what, are they Kuano melons, Kuano melons, African melon, that's what they're saying, African melon, Kuano melon. Okay, when I ate it, I got a certain, vibes that I thought it was very very similar to then I was watching uh, best ever food best ever food review show that brother's wicked I love watching his shows big him up um, and he was in Africa and he was like look at this African cucumber and when they cut it inside he was like yeah this is the African cucumber I've never seen a cucumber that looks like this when you eat it and you taste it it's very similar to a cucumber. So let's be honest. It's a cucumber. It's an African cucumber. That's what it is, people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, look, it's, well, it's a beautiful looking cucumber, isn't it, people? Let's be honest. And it comes in this little, uh, this little cool little box thing. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. So, as you can see, when I cut it inside, See that? Cucumber. So if we just cut it as we would a cucumber. There you go. So as you can see that looking lovely and nice man. Yeah man, just like a different style of cucumber. Uh, it contains a variety of essential nutrients. Yeah, man, it provides several potent antioxidants. Uh, it promotes healthy red blood cell production. Um, promotes blood sugar control. It supports um, hydration and um, a lot of other a lot of other health benefits. You know, anything I suppose anything that a cucumber <laughs> does anyway. You know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, yeah. You can see that like, the strange thing. Because I got a little pattern. Look at that. Crazy. So um yeah, let's um let's go. Take the little hour show be off because I don't think you should be eating spikes to be fair, but it's like a cucumber, but 
quite a lot of flavour, cucumber, like the most flavour, like there's a lot of, lot of flavour in that. Like it does taste like a cucumber but it's got a lot of flavour, like it's got like a sweetness. It's got like a sweetness, like an extra little flavour in there. Definitely better than a normal cucumber anyway. But a cucumber, nonetheless. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah man. Tropical fruit, let's get back to uh, drinking stinging nettles. <laughs> As you can see, it's starting to wilt and uh, I think the colour's still the same. But um, we can reduce the heat now. Can reduce the heat now a little bit, or maybe make, make that boil up a little piece more and then reduce the heat. But yeah, man, drinking stinging nettles and sour top tea. What you want? Hoi! Yeah, man, we're there, man. Stinging nettles. Ready up. So yeah man, simple thing. I do not want to drink a stinging nettle. <laughs> imagine, a, imagine drinking a stinging nettle and it stings your throat. Oh, you know, you, you know on that. You know on that at all. So as you can see, it has got a little colour to it. Yeah, it's got a colour to it. You know what I'm saying, so. Oh, I've got a bit of nettle in there. No man, we know on the nettle in there. That's how come on. You know when you're trying to get sank out of a tea? It's like trying to... Ah, oh, come on. I got it. Yeah. All right. <coughs> Moment of truth. It's kind of got... What colour is that, Ben? I'm colour What colour is that? It's like a greeny yellow, isn't it? Greeny yellow is more... Uh, this one's got more of a yellow than the... Um, this one's got more of a yellow than the, the, the sour sop. Hopefully that's not that's not that's not a wee from a dog. <laughs> 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 no man would clean it up good and proper. Yo, yeah, clean it up good and proper, so. That's actually really nice. That's actually got a flavour. Honestly, that's really nice. It's like, do you know what it tastes like? Chamomile tea. Mm. Yeah. It tastes like chamomile tea. I can work with that. Drinking stinging nettles. Who would have thought it? This is what I'm saying. <coughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. You just don't realise what benefits you. You know, in Jamaica, when you walk around, Ben, there's so much bush and leaf you can take off everything and it's got so much benefits and stuff. Don't think you ain't got that in England. We've got that in England. You know, when I was planning this episode and I was looking at the sour sock teas and everything, I thought, what have we got in England that we can... And I, I've heard about stinging that was before. So I thought, let me, let me research it. And he said, yeah, really good to drink, really good for you, loads of health benefits. And you just would never have thought... Like walking along the road and seeing stinging nettles on the floor that you could pick them up, drink a tea out of it, and it'd be good for you. So the next time you're walking your dog, or you're walking in a field, or you're out somewhere, put a glove on or just snip it up and chop it up, get some stinging nettles, boil them up, just like I've shown you, and drink it. You've got some tea. Especially if you're camping and anything there. I feel like Ben should drink some of this. <laughs> like M dot on the camera. Yeah. <laughs> so big up up and coming productions. Check out his YouTube channel. Yeah, you're gonna see an exclusive performance of my new drum and bass tune on his page real soon as well. You get me? What's a stinging nettle tea? Let's give it a go. Let's go. What are we saying? That's actually alright. It's alright, isn't it? Yeah. It doesn't taste like much. It's good. That's it's good, right. isn't it? There we go. Up and coming productions. If you need music videos, if you need anything editing, 
I wonder how good you are, Ben. I wonder if you can edit out that bloody washing up that's in the background <laughs> that I forgot to move. I wonder, let's see how good he is, people. Let's see if he can edit out that in the background. <laughs> oh, look, he's good. Look at that. It's gone. This is what I'm saying. If you want a music video where you can eliminate stuff out of the room and make it invisible, it's an extra price. I want to cost two thousand five hundred for for invisible music videos. Watch this. Now you see me. <laughs> this is what I'm saying, people. Yeah, I'm there. You but three thousand five hundred. So there we go. There you have it. Stinging nettles tea, sour sock tea. Bigger ocean moss. Bigger up and coming productions. This is cool and vibe. That's up and coming productions. I just said that. I sound like a parrot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Why I? Big up section. Big up, big up. Aren't my cuckoo vibers just big up, big up? Yeah, man. Leave a comment in the comment section for your chance. Why I? Yes, my people. My name is M. Da R, and this is Cook and Vibe. Yeah. So I wanted to um, give you some information. Yes, my people. So now you can become a member to the channel. Yeah, that's right. So there's three different stages. The first stage, you, could, is, you get certain benefits where you get emojis, you get certain likes next to your name, um, you get priority over certain comments and stuff like that. There's a second package where you get a chance to get to access to live members only videos so yeah i'll be doing live cooking shows that only members can see and there's a lot more benefits and um there's a third package where you just get loads and loads of stuff man you get emojis you get ticks by your name you get priority over other comments you get um you get the chance for me to shout you out on other social medias like instagram and facebook um, you get uh, videos for for your for your friends and your for your family, like for their birthdays and stuff like that. So there's loads of benefits of getting the third package. There's loads of benefits to getting the second and the first package. Do you know what I'm saying? So loads of exclusive stuff, members only videos. You know, exclusive content, exclusive videos, lives that nobody else can see, only members can see. Yeah, it's really exciting. Do you know what I'm saying? So. To become a member, just go to the community section on my page and it will give you the information and how to become a member to Cook and Vibe. I really do appreciate everybody that supports me and Cook and Vibe. You know, I love you lot. Thank you for all your support up until now. You know, um, this is the next stage and the next level of, of where we're taking it now. So. You can become a member now and we're taking it to a next level, you know. So, yeah, just go to the community section to become a member to Cook and Vibe. And um, honestly, I really, really would appreciate it. And let's see who the real, real fans are. I love you lot, man. I'll see you soon. Why are you?